Welcome to my unboxing of the Antec 1. Now this is, yeah, I know, you were expecting me to say 100 after that or something, right? No, 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 this is just the Antec 25, no, 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 not the Antec 25. That's how many years Antec has been, uh, well, around. No, the 1 is the model number, not the 25, no 100, the 1. So what is the 1 all about? The one is all about an up-to-date feature set, good ventilation, oh, sturdy construction, we hope. We're about to find out that for sure, although if it's Antec, that's pretty much my expectation. Um, even on their value cases, they really don't make anything flimsy. I mean, look at this, they're still using double-walled cardboard, even for a value-oriented case. Now, they have opted for a hard foam versus um, versus a soft foam, which is not my preferred way of doing things, but given this is a more value case, I think we can forgive them for it because nobody should be loading up, you know, 60 pounds worth of computer hardware in a case like this. This is more for, you need a basic system, you want it to be ATX compatible, so not, not MATX, but you want something fairly small with good ventilation, etc etc so here is the antec actually that's not bad it looks kind of like the um it looks kind of like a more up-to-date 300. um actually we've got a 300 over there that's serving us quite well as our uh, tech tips video editing machine so i i do personally believe in the in fact that is the 300 that was part of the ncix tech tips episode on thermal management where we took a crappy case and we uh, sub we swapped it out for the 300 in order to demonstrate how much cooler your PC can run if you have a case that is designed for optimal cooling. And there it is. All right, so let's start with the externals. We've got thumb screws securing the side panels. We have, as I mentioned before, ample ventilation. So here in the front, we have a spot for our 120 millimeter cooling fan. We also have three five and a quarter inch bays, your Antec logo, your just nice sleek lines, USB 3. Bam! On a value case like this, that is a great thing to see. Reset switch, power switch, headphones, and microphone ports. Okay, we've got a 120 millimeter cooling fan included in the top, as well as a spot for what appears to be a 140 millimeter fan on the side. Give me a sec, that might be 120. Sorry guys, it was just the styling of the honeycomb mesh that confused me a little bit. That is for a 120 millimeter fan. So almost all of the fans in this case are 120 millimeter. You can see it uses uh, this sort of punched out style of design. It still looks fairly sleek. You can see from the front, it's very aerodynamic, but from the back, it's more wide. And the reason for that is it gives you space for this fan here without interfering with your graphics card and gives you space for taller CPU coolers. So there's a very practical reason why they've done that. All right, oh yeah, sorry, I never finished on the back. So on the back, we find an included IO shield. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Very nice. And uh, I see it's not any more up to date than they used to be. There's your spot for your parallel port, which is evidently labeled Venus for some reason. Sure, whatever, man. Okay, and then we've got a 120 or 92 or 80 mil fan in the back. Water cooling grommets, which you're not very likely to use because you're probably going to get one of those integrated liquid cooling things like the 620 or the 920. Then you've got seven PCI slots, a bottom mounted power supply. Very nice to see. Antec is still not neglecting awesome features like bottom mounted power supplies, even on a value case. And we move to the inside. So here is the one spot in the case where you can put a 140 millimeter fan as a bottom intake. Using the feet on the bottom, you can see it's lifted up a fair amount off the, f off the floor or table, wherever you put it. There's also a fan filter that is removable here for your power supply intake fan. So you can have air coming in here, cooling your power supply and going directly out, and air also coming in here to cool your graphics card or whatever else happens to be in this general vicinity. This is an invaluable include. You know, I've always liked the word invaluable, well, hated it really, because the word invaluable implies that it has no value, but you say invaluable to mean very valuable, so what's the deal, yo? Okay, so here is your USB 3 to USB 2 adapter. So if you are putting together a value system that does not have a USB 3 header for those front USB 3, you can just hook them up as USB 2 with the included adapter. Thank you, Antec. That is a very fantastic inclusion. If 
I've also got a piece of paper. Thank you for that as well. And then we have a large CPU cutout. So that's so you can install pretty much any cooler you want without actually removing the motherboard from the case. There's your 120mm fan, plugs in with a 3-pin header. Look at all these black cables. Antex is getting stylish. Look at that. Also uh, black cables for that guy. So the only cooling that is included with the case is the top and the back. But you can still install, as I mentioned before, here, here, and on the side panel in order to get additional cooling. Now, uh, how does this work? Fascinating. You know what? I'll be back in a moment. Now as a test of how easy their toolless drive configuration is to set up, there's the back panel by the way, also got that bulge thing going on for additional room for cable management in this case. So I'm going to lay that down. As a test of how easy their toolless configuration is, I am going to figure it out on camera. The only thing I was doing off camera there was fetching myself some drives to install. So here we go. Okay. Hey, look at that. They're including drive rails with like a $60 case. That's fantastic. All right. Now we're going to put these here, presumably. Okay. And then we're going to put these here, presumably. Bam. Let's do one more, just to show how quickly we can do it, now that we are seasoned veterans at installing this particular toolless drive system. And... whoops. Bam! Love it! So from the front, looks like this. Got, like, you know, some cool honeycomb-y, ventilation-y looking thing going on. From the back, you can see it's riveted in, okay? Should be quite strong. That's been a problem with some cheaper cases in shipping with hard drives. This one, you shouldn't have that issue, although I'd feel a little bit better if you could screw them in, but I guess they're not really going anywhere once you have a side panel closed on this side. This is interesting. So this is like a big, like, rubber thing going on. So I guess that... Oh, fascinating! So they've put this in in order to keep the motherboard tray, because you see they cut out so much of it for that enlarged CPU cooler, they wanted to reinforce it in some way. So once you put a motherboard on here, it's not going this way, but in order to keep it from flexing, they've got this rig rigiding it up. I know rigiding isn't a word, but making it more rigid uh, during shipping or whatever else. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we've got lots of cable management tie down places here, you can run your 8 pin up here, you run your 24 pin through the nice big one here that can also go to your optical drives which are toolless, more cable management hooks and you can accept up to one, two, three, four, five, uh, three and a half inch drives and there's an SSD mounting spot down here at the bottom so you just screw those up from the bottom there and install your SSD. I think that pretty much, co oh no the included uh, internal connectors, sorry guys that was close and boom. Wait, this parrot wouldn't boom if you put 4 million volts through it. Uh, HD audio, USB 3, which as you may recall can be converted, power LED, hard drive LED, power switch, and reset switch. There are all your included cables. You should probably route them through and here, and then take them to wherever. Eh they need to go, which is probably here. Check. Coil those up nice and tight, get them all running through the cable management loops at the back, and it should look a little something like that, but better. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Antec 1. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and there's the Toolless 5 and a quarter inch mechanism, and other computer videos. Sorry guys, I realized I never showed you how to install the 120mm fan in the front. So it comes with included screws. See those two longer ones? So there's two bumps, two screws, bam! 120mm fan goes there, and that's what it looks like from the inside. It's easy to get off, you just try not to drop the case while you do that. And then if you want to take it off, you just pull on it like that. No problem.